Hey y'all, welcome to my channel today, and today I've got something pretty special. My last ever trunk club. Yeah, y'all, you know, when I first, my very, I will never forget my very first trunk club. My stylist name was Mary Claire. I loved that name, and I loved that stylist. She did such a great job. I, I was so excited about the things I got, and the things I got in that trunk, some of them are still my favorite pieces. Um, but then at some point they switched and they, they went away from the personal stylist and started using a stylist team and it really did lose a personal touch. Now I still got some great things. I mean, cause it's Nordstrom after all, you're going to get some awesome things, but it did make it harder because I just didn't feel like there was really good communication, but I kept getting it because like I said, even with that, I still got a lot of great things. So even with that, I'm very sad to see this trunk go, this box. I'm really sad to see this box go. So this is my very last trunk club that I'm bringing to y'all today. And we're gonna get to it in just a minute. But before we do, I wanna share something with y'all. All right, I love, you know I have a shop small haul that I do every now and then because I love to you know, promote small businesses, local and like online, like uh, Kim's, uh, the Dollhouse Boutique. She, I started showing that as a shop small. And a lot of y'all have gone and shopped with her and love her and the whole thing. I love doing that because, you know, I've been a small business owner. And in fact, right now I am a small business owner and it is a lot of work when you're the one running the show. It's a lot of work. And so I really, really love promoting those type businesses. I also love promoting brand new channels on YouTube because I can remember the very first day I hit that record button and I really think it was a Wednesday afternoon. One of these days I'm gonna go back and check because I always say that. But I remember being terrified and it turned out to be just one of the best decisions I ever made. So I love promoting new channels. Well, I, I've brought a couple to y'all in the past. Well, I'm gonna bring another one to you today. All right, so Sherry. Sherry is a friend of mine. She's actually, we met through YouTube. She was a subscriber. She started watching my channel and she actually ended up becoming a client of mine. You know, I coach a health and wellness program and she actually, her and her husband became clients of mine. And uh, Scott and I have just fallen in love with them. They're the funnest, neatest couple. We do a Zoom weekly for client support, but honestly, just because we like each other too and we enjoy visiting. But she shared with me that she, for a couple of years now, has been thinking about starting a YouTube channel, but she was just scared. So I encouraged her to do it. And y'all, she's so good. She's so cute. All right, her name is Sherry, and the name of her channel is Show Me Sherry. Uh, because they're from Missouri, and so that's the show me state. And so I thought that was such a cute name. All right, I'm going to link her channel in my description. Please, please, please click on that link. Doesn't cost you anything to click on a link. Go watch her videos. I think she's got three uploaded as of the time I'm videoing this. But she does unboxings like I do. But y'all, she is showing me, show me Sherry, she is showing me boxes that I've never seen. And the one that she uploaded, I think it was, today's Wednesday when I'm filming this. She uploaded it yesterday, I think on Tuesday. I could be wrong. Might have been, the, I don't know. But anyway, it's the Deco Crated box. And I've seen that box done before, but this one was called Deco Crated Plus. And it had a 4th of July theme. I'm not gonna give it all away. But y'all, I don't ever decorate for the 4th of July but that box made me want to. So I think I might head to Hobby Lobby. And, and if I do, I will bring that shopping haul to y'all. So show me Sherry, you got to go check her out. Y'all, she's, uh, oh my gosh, she told me, I talked to her this morning, she's got a ton of videos she needs to do. So she's gonna be bringing you some videos, probably, I don't know about every day, cause she's a busy gal, but She's, she's getting started and I think she's gonna show us uh, some really awesome things. So please check her out, please check her out. Okay, there is my shameless plug for my beautiful girl, Sherry on Show Me Sherry. Now, let's get to the trunk. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Trunk Club, as y'all know, comes out and I'm bumping my camera, y'all. So sorry, I keep doing that. Um, comes out of Nordstrom. I don't really need to go into the whole spiel about it because we can't get it anymore. So let's just get to the goods. 
Okay, I've already opened it and gotten everything out of the plastic. So I'm gonna make a little bundle right here and then we'll, and then I'll show you what I got. Hold on. Got everything out of the plastic already bundled up here. And typically I wouldn't go through each piece because there's so many, I would just get to the try on. But because it's our last trunk, let's savor it. I'm gonna show you each and every piece. Okay, here we go. Let me show you the bundle first. It's a big one. The top is jewelry. All right, here we go, here we go. And the bottom is shoes. So I got three, I think three pair of pants, a dress, and the rest are shirts, jewelry, and shoes. Let's start with the jewelry. Okay. Get all my goodies here, back in my little envelope. It's so sad, this will be the last time I do this. Okay. My stylist name is Amanda, and let's get to what we've got here, all right? So this jewelry, y'all, you know, these are really interesting. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it, they're very interesting. Um, so this is what I did, y'all. She sent, you know, they send you a preview. I didn't swap out anything. I just said, send me what you got. Just, I just said, send it on. So these are not me, but I thought somebody might like them just because they're not my style doesn't mean they're not your style. They are by Bobble Bar. That's the name, Bobble Bar. <laughs> and they're called Aren't You Glad Earrings. <laughs> That's awesome. Aren't you glad? They're $48. All right, I'm gonna try them on. I didn't realize those were oranges. They didn't look like oranges to me, but you know, because they look kind of brown. Oranges are orange, and don't those look kind of brown to you? Oh, I think that's the wrong one. Hold on. Okay, there they are, y'all. Yeah, these are not me. Definitely not me. But I don't know, they might, they could be cute. I mean, you could put an outfit together where those would really be cute. Just, just not my style. I'll put my earring back on. Okay, next. We have got some Wit and Wisdom jeans. I love Wit and Wisdom. These are white, high rise ankle skinny, no distressing, no frayed hem. I like Wit and Wisdom, it's a great brand. I have white jeans and I don't wear them that often. So I'll try those on though, cause you know, somebody else might be looking for the perfect white jean. Sorry about the glare, you guys. There's just nothing I can do about it. If y'all are seeing it, I see it in the camera. I don't even know if y'all see it. All right, these next, oh, how much were those? Wit and Wisdom. The tag says $68. They are $68. All right, these next pants are by Caslon. Um, they're just kind of an army green. Got a big pocket. I don't think they're capri length. I think they're full length. And they are $49. They look good. Um, I have a pair of green pants, army green pants like this, similar to this. They are cargo pants that I got from my first Trendsend box and I adore them and I wear them quite a bit. I don't know that I want another pair of army green pants. So, yeah. All right, you guys, I have a question. You see the shine? Can y'all see the shine? Um, I wear powder. I put powder on before I come and do this, but I still am shiny. I've been using CC cream instead of foundation. Is that why I'm shiny? Because it's driving me nuts. If y'all got an answer for that, please let me know. Okay, moving on. <laughs> All right, this next top is by CC. For this one from the preview, it's a very simple little top. It's got some uh, pleating down the front. It's just, you know, short sleeved, uh, a little keyhole back. It's really cute. I, I could see wearing this with a lot of stuff, y'all, that I have, especially like for church. Well, that skirt that I just got, um, that I just kept out of JB Style, this would be cute with that. Maybe that's how I'll try it on. Okay, this one is pleat front, the pleat front, the pleat front top by CC in black for $48.30. So I think that one might be on sale. Yeah, it was originally $69. So that one's actually on sale. 
All right, this next top is by Treasure and Bond. Love Treasure and Bond. Um, this is cute, y'all. I'm not sure about this print. I don't know. It's one of those things I'm gonna have to put on. It's kind of a peasant blouse, but I actually really love this color. This kind of dark, dark chocolate color. I'm really liking that color. All right, this one is, it's called the tie front top in brown for $59. Oh, the tie is at the collar. I was like, it doesn't tie, the, it's at the top. I was thinking, you know, at the waist. All right, I, I'm anxious to see that on. I, I'm kind of liking that, I like the fabric. Got me some Liverpool jeans, y'all. Um, I may have to keep these just because I love Liverpool. <laughs> Liverpool, Los Angeles, ooh, they're $98. <laughs> So, maybe I won't. I don't know. If I love them, I will. They're a boyfriend cut. They're uh, cuffed at the bottom. No distressing at all. Just, you know, your, your typical boyfriend cut jeans. So, we'll see how they fit. And, you know, I've got a lot of jeans. So, I'll have to love, love, love the fit. Or there have to be something different about them for me to keep them, I suppose. I love jeans, y'all. All right, this next top, I'm actually really excited about. This is by uh, Fairty. Fairty. F-A-H-E-R-T, Faraday. Is that how you say it, Faraday? All right, it is called, it's called the Dream Desmond Organic Cotton Top in White. It's also $98, but I, I just really think it's pretty. Now, it's gonna depend on how it fits, but it's organic cotton, which I'm not really sure what that means, but I just love the look of it, you know? And it's super, super soft, super, super soft. Yeah, I really, I think it's really cute. We'll just have to wait and see how it looks on. All right, this next one is a dress. This dress is sleeveless. It is boingy, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's by Caslon. And the material, I've, I have things in this material, t-shirts and things like that. And y'all, this material is pretty darn clingy. Um, and this is a dress. So, you know, that's probably not gonna work. Um, We'll see, I'll reserve judgment. It's called the Sleeveless Maxi Dress Medium in Red for $39. That's a good price and I do love the color red. No, shh. She's sitting over there looking out the window, y'all. She is such a little lookout dog. Here, let me see if you, I don't know if you can turn this to see, hold on. There she is. She's like, Mom, I have to keep lookout. I don't know what she's looking out for. Anything that she can bark at. All right, this next top is so cute, y'all. I saw it when I pulled it out. It's by Halogen. It's sleeveless, and it's uh, it's like an eyelet lace, I guess, but it's, I don't know how to explain it. So like the back of it is uh, got this gathering and then all the way to the sides, so it causes like a little peblum. That could be really cute for summer, y'all. That could be really cute. Let's see how much it is. All right, the, the Eyelet Smocked Waist Top by Halogen is $69. Okay, last, the shoes. <laughs> I remember the shoes from the preview. They're pretty cute, they're pretty cute. They're Tom's. Yeah, they're really cute, y'all. Look at those. Oh my gosh, those are, yeah, those are stinking adorable. Not gonna lie. They're really, really cute. A uh, lot of little details. Yeah, so that feels like canvas. Rubber sole, which is good. Then you got the little wedge right here. Super cute, y'all. How much are these? They're called the Diana Platform Wedge Sandal in brown, size six and a half for $79.95. Mm, those are cute. Okay. All right, y'all. I am going to go do my very last triumph for Trunk Club. I'm so dramatic. Okay. We're going to see this dress in two segments. <laughs> okay. So I put a whole outfit together that I think is really cute. But here's the situation. With this dress, it's what I thought. It lays right across the tummy right across the behind and this kind of fabric just goes <laughs> so no about no amount of spanx is going to help that situation unless you've got a really flat stomach or you just don't care 
which I wish that was me. I wish I just didn't care, but I do. So y'all aren't gonna see the full length dress without my kimono, but I wanted you to see the top of it so you could kind of see how it fits up top. It's really cute and I love this color and the fabric is really soft. So I'm not ruling it out 100% because I love kimonos and I think this makes kind of a cute outfit. Y'all tell me what you think, hold on. You'll understand the black in just a second. What do you think? Do you think that's cute together? I like the pop of red under this little animal print and then you put the black on and it kind of camouflages what's going on underneath. You know what I mean? Um, I also put it on with the toms. I'll give you a close up of the toms. What do y'all think? You think it's cute? I think it's kind of cute. I kind of like it. Just wouldn't wear it by itself. But that's okay because I have a ton of kimonos that would actually match this. So maybe. Maybe. I think I scrolled down enough to where you could see the shoes. Y'all, those are stinking adorable. Do you see those? Now, right across the toe, I'll stand still for a minute. Right across the toe, the big toe. I don't know if that'll loosen up a little bit because it's rubbing a little bit when I walk. Everything else is super comfortable about them and I think they're adorable. But it's just right across that toe, it's stiff. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I've got other white jeans that I like a whole lot better, although I think they're super cute with these shoes. I'm liking these shoes. What do I think about this top? I think it's cute, y'all. I love the color. Um, it's just kind of a loose fitting, very cool, comfortable. Um, it'd be great for the summer, but I'm really loving this color, this kind of chocolatey brown kind of color. I'm getting that color in a lot of things these days, and I really think I like it. So, all right, yeah, so the jeans are a no. Um, they're cute though, y'all. If you need some white jeans, they're really cute and they fit really well. They're just a little tight for me for white jeans. That, that's what I mean. It's like they don't, they're not fitting tight to where they're like uncomfortable. I just like white to fit a little looser. You know what I mean? All right, we'll go try on the green ones. I may just keep this top on. Let me go try on the green ones. Y'all, this is cute. Okay, I made an outfit with a little white organic uh, cotton top which I actually really love, y'all. Uh, I thought these were very similar to the ones I got from Trinson, but they're actually really different. Um, I really kind of like them. And the thing is, I wear those green pants quite a bit. So it wouldn't be a bad thing to have two pair of green pants. So I like these a lot, y'all. Um, disappointed dog, she's chewing up the rug. Oh, I swear that dog. Um, this is really cute, y'all. What do y'all think of this? I kind of like it. I thought I was gonna have to wear something under it. It's a little sheer, but I don't think it's too sheer, do y'all? Because I really hate putting things under things during the summer, unless it's a really breathable fabric, which organic cotton is. So, wouldn't be terrible if I had to, but what do y'all think? Does it look okay? When I look at the footage, y'all know. <laughs> okay, y'all, this is really one of the better trunks I have had in a long time. All right, what else I got? Oh, I got those Liverpool jeans. Oh, and two more tops. Okay, here's a little black top from Cece. Y'all, this is a really cute top. I just did a little bit of a front tuck with the skirt that I kept from JB Style, put it on with some little sandals. Um, I think this makes a really cute outfit. Now, I don't need this top to go with this skirt. Um, I have tops that go with this skirt. In fact, I have quite a few things in my closet that go with this, but I just really like this top. I like the way it fits. Um, I could see myself wearing this with a lot of things. It's just a basic black top. But one thing I love about it is the fabric because it's great for travel. And what is she doing? I told you, she is a hot mess. I don't know what, see. Maisie? She's ignoring me. Maisie, Maisie. Oh, here comes Abby, she's about to set her straight. What are you doing there? He's such a good mama. She didn't, she didn't set her straight though. She's just gonna pull it right back out. Okay, anyway, I'm going on a couple of trips this summer and so this is such an easy thing to pack because it won't wrinkle and it'll go with everything. So I'm kind of thinking about keeping it and it does look really cute with this skirt. Okay, jeans, top. Okay, now I'm just playing dress up. All right, I do have the jeans on, which I really love. They're a great fit. But this was laying on the counter, so I just threw it on, put these shoes back on. This is really cute. 
I'm loving these shoes. The more I walk around in them, the, that tightness across the toe is giving a little bit, so it's not uncomfortable at all. I think I might keep the shoes. All right, I'm gonna go put the white top on so you can see the jeans better. I just wanted y'all to see this. It's so cute. Well, actually, I could take this off and you can see them. Yeah, you can see them. They're, they're a true boyfriend cut. I love the length. A little bit looser in the legs, a little bit looser in the waist, they're a button fly. I like these a lot. They're high rise, so I wouldn't tuck anything in. Um, I like a little bit mid rise to tuck things in, but um, very cute, very comfortable. Let me go put on that last top. Here is the eyelet lace top that has the, you know, kind of elastic around the waist. Creates a small, very slight peplum. Um, I think I like it. Uh, I don't know that I like it with just a pair of jeans though, but I'm not sure if I like it. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm undecided on this one. Um, but I do want to try it on with a couple of other things because when I put it on, I thought, I don't know that this looks cute with just jeans, but I had some thoughts in my mind of some things I have in my closet that it might actually be perfect with because I do think it's a very cute top. Uh, let, me, let me go try it. And I may be trying too hard with it because I like the eyelet lace. But let me go try it on with a couple other things and see what I think. Okay, I put them on with these Palazzo pants. Um, I like it better with this. I think it would be cute with a skirt. I don't like it with jeans, but I'm not sure if I like it at all because of where it's hitting me right here. You know what I mean? Um, it's, I don't know, it's causing a, well, it's not causing it. It's just <laughs> the way I'm shaped and the way this is made may be causing a little bit of a pooch right there that I don't necessarily want to accentuate. You know what I mean? I don't know. Are y'all noticing it or is it just me? Y'all can be honest with me. You won't hurt my feelings. I, I, you know, I don't know. I think I'm trying too hard to like this, but let me go get everything and we'll do a quick recap of what I do love. Wow, what a haul that was. Um, it's been a long time since I have felt the need to come back to the bench to go over something. So, um, yeah, you guys, I loved almost everything. All right, let's go over it. This little eyelet top, I think I'm trying really way too hard to like it. Y'all let me know what you think. I'm undecided on it. I'm undecided. The white jeans, wonderful jeans. Love Wit & Wisdom, just don't need them. So those are a no. Everything else I really liked. Um, all right, these boyfriend Liverpool jeans, they were great. Love the fit, love the wash, very comfortable. Definitely considering those. Believe it or not, I'm considering this dress. Now I know that I'm not comfortable enough to just wear it on its own, but I think with a kimono over it, it's a really cute summer look and you know kimonos don't add any kind of like warmth so i wouldn't be too hot in it i think it's really cute y'all i think it'd be cute to wear like to a pool party you know what i mean i think that'd be kind of cute maybe i don't know what do y'all think okay this top i didn't go on and on about it when i had it on but y'all i really love it I actually really really love it um i'm very much considering this top actually everything i'm showing you right now i'm considering so y'all let me know i'm just showing you the things that i love but I haven't made my mind up on anything. Uh, these Caslon pants, I, I'm very much leaning towards them. Loved them. This organic cotton top. I don't know, I just, I thought it was really pretty. Now, like I said, I have not looked at the footage. So once I look, I may go, no, 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 not keeping that. And then this CC top. I think this is a great keep. I really do. It's a it's a great piece to my wardrobe. But y'all, because of my one in one out rule, that's a lot that would have to leave my closet. So I'm gonna have to really think about it. I'm gonna have to really think. Oh, and the shoes. <laughs> Don't forget the shoes. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep those because those are stinking cute, and I've got nothing like that. All right. So here's the thing on the one out one in, one out one in one out rule. Can't even talk, you guys. All right, so that is a hard thing to do sometimes, but I cleaned out my closet. I purged my closet last year and I got it down to what I consider a very manageable size. I don't feel like it's too much um, and it, it gives me plenty of variety, the number of the pieces, the number of pieces I have. So I really wanna keep it right about the same size. 
Okay, so what I'm finding in this one in, one out rule, y'all, it's gonna create a closet of things that I am over the moon in love with instead of things that I just, I like. You know what I mean? That's what I'm finding. Um, when I go into my closet now, because I've been doing this for a while, it's like, I love it all. I wanna wear it all. <laughs> So that's kind of cool. And I'm getting a lot better about pulling out the things that I don't love, that I just kind of like. You know what I mean? Now, so far, what I've been able to do is do um, style for style. Like if it's a blouse, I get rid of a blouse. If it's jeans, jeans, you know, and so forth and so on. For the most part, I've done that. I think I swapped a skirt for a dress. But other than that, it's been pretty much, you know. But eventually, I can see that... I'm gonna have to quit doing that because I'm heavy on certain styles and low on others. Like I don't have a lot of skirts, but I have a ton of dresses. Um, I don't have a whole lot of shorts, but I have a ton of jeans. You know what I'm saying? So that's gonna be kind of tricky. <laughs> and you know, there may come a point where I'm like, mm, I wanna keep this, but there's nothing I wanna get rid of. And when I hit that point, and I may have to change what I'm doing, but for now, we're gonna keep doing this. So, that would be a lot. That would be one, two, if I kept it all, three, four, five, six. Six articles of clothing that I would have to pull out of my closet. I don't do it with shoes yet, yet, just like I don't do it with jewelry yet. Um, But, you know, why not go out with a bang? You know what I mean? Why not make this last trunk just like, uh, it was one of the best trunks I've had in a very long time, I think. All right, y'all tell me what you think I ought to do. Uh, help me out on this one, guys. Um, also, I'm gonna remind you, go check out Show Me Sherry. Oh my gosh, you're gonna love her, y'all. I love her, you're gonna love her. Um, her video, the link to her channel is down in my description and I trust me, she's gonna show you so many cute things and her little personality is so sweet and so adorable. You're gonna love her. All right, and if you do go check her out, please let me know you did. You know, just comment and just, le just let me know you went over and saw her, okay? Y'all have a great blessed day today. Y'all stay safe and stay well and I'm out.